everybody. Today I'm going to do a rain balloon video and sorry I haven't been posting videos. I'm just really busy and and, and uh, I just need to, i just been doing a lot of stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to make the double braid bracelet on one loom and, you, and it looks like this. Oh, it, it just has an extension with it. Looks like that. Here's another example. And here's the last example. Focus. It's not really focusing, but <laughs> this is what it looks like. Okay. Let's begin. You just start with your loom. Like regular. And you're just gonna get the right pegs, you're just gonna get that off. And you're gonna only need these. Okay. Okay. So you can and you're gonna need a C clip or S clip. I prefer a C clip. Your rainbow hook or crochet hook. And some colors. I'm gonna use teal. Light green or lime green, whatever whatever you prefer to say it. And I'm just gonna use pink. Okay, let's begin. You can start your first color. Mine is gonna be teal. You're gonna get take two little bands. And you're gonna go from here to here. Now take your second color. Mine is gonna be this green color. Light green. You're gonna go from here to here. So do you see that? Here to here and then here to here. Okay. Take your third color or your first color, one of those colors, you're going to go from here to here, just like that, and it looks like a kind of like a braid, it's getting the braid look. I'm going to do a couple more times with you, and then I'm going to just keep on doing this. So now you're going to go here. Go here to there. Now you're going to continue this step all the way down. Yeah. And I'm going to do some more, and I'll see you af after this. Now that you're done, you're going to take your, um, your right peg back on. And you're gonna take what, when you're doing your doing your pattern, um, whatever that you're supposed to put that color. You're gonna put it. You're gonna get two rubber bands and go all the way across. Do you hate it? Like that. Sorry about that. Uh, my my cousin was talking to me. I'm not your cousin. I'm not your cousin. Sorry. Be quiet. Whatever, he's just being silly. Um, you're gonna pull back. You're gonna switch your loom. That way your arrow stays in you. And I'll pull back that rubber um, that rubber band. And you're gonna pull up the right side of of your of your rubber band. So and do that one. And then you're gonna take the left one and bring it to that one. And then right. So you're gonna go to right and then to left. Right and then to left. And you're gonna continue that process all the way down. When you're done, you're just gonna pull this one, this bottom rubber band to here. That way it doesn't break. Okay, so now you're gonna go to here. Oh my gosh, sorry. Um, 
um, you can bring this one to there. And then bring that one to there. And, or you can bring this one. <laughs> sorry. This one to there. And then bring that one to there. I'm going to bring the, these two to here instead of bringing these two to there because it's easier. So you're going to push this one down. I'm going to stretch this out with your hook. If I were you, I would get a metal hook, crochet hook, because uh, since the regular rainbow hook is more is more plasticky and it's not that much sturdy than the metal hook, um, your yours might break like mine two times. So that's why I have the two like capping things that go on the bottom of your rainbow loom hook. So yeah, that's why I recommend getting a rainbow, uh, not a rainbow, but um, a crochet hook for your rainbow. And that way, this this is way sturdier. I had this for, I had this for a year, so it works pretty much good. So when you do this, when you bring it to that, you're gonna pull this one up, ah, pull this one up, and now it's on there. And I'm gonna take this one. And bring it over here if I could. Okay, I did it. And did it. Now take since you did that. Eh, gosh, sorry. Now since you did that. Oops, sorry, you couldn't see it. Um and take a random color, whatever's in your pattern. You're gonna put it right there. Sorry, I'm trying to let it focus. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, better. Sorry about outside. It's really windy. Bring that to there, and just bring all the rubbers through. Now. Put this on your ring balloon cap, um, capping thing where you can make your mini loom, where, where it's your mini loom. Just gonna put it on the end of it. Now you're gonna take your hook and you're gonna gently take this out. Sorry about that again. And you're just gonna gently take it off. So I'm just gonna gently take it off with my with um with my hand. Just left to side, left to side, left to side. And then here it goes. Let me now you're gonna do an extension. You're gonna take the colors you had. You can use six or more. But I'm just going to use six. Let me get those rubber bands. Okay. Flip your room. Your room, not your room. <laughs> and you're just going to go all the way up. And we're in your pattern. You're in your, you're in your pattern that you're doing in your on your bracelet. All the way up. Now, the top that you put your, that you took those rubber bands and pull it through all those rubber bands, all these rubber bands, and you put on your mini loom, you're going to take that, take it off, and put your two fingers, and then you're just going to put on the end, on the two pegs, like a regular rubber band, of the extension you did. Switch your loom, and you're just going to loom it all the way up. I'm just gonna take the rubber bands on the top, bring them to there. I'm just gonna get a S clip or C clip. I'm just gonna hook it on and take it off. Okay. And now you're gonna take the bottom where you had that long extension, you know, that long band. 
two bands. You're just going to attach it to the other side of your C-clip. And, gosh, can't put it in. Okay, bam, you're done. Um, you made your double braid bracelet. Double braid rainbow and bracelet. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And this is one of my favorites. I, I learned it a couple couple days ago and I just want to show you since I haven't did did a rainbow video in a long time so yeah I hope you see I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah I'll see you um when I have time to make a video and yeah